Welcome to the Win Back Your Life, Families in Recovery series from SVG and the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation. Today, SVG's Ken Kirschbaumer discusses women in recovery with three-time Olympic gold medalist and Hazelden and Betty Ford outreach manager, Carrie Bates. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's Mental Health Minutes. We're going to discuss women in recovery. I'm here with Carrie Bates. Carrie, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. So it's always interesting as a man to be discussing women in recovery. Um, you know, so I'm going to have to lean on you big time because you obviously have much more uh, familiarity with the issues. But, you know, I think that obviously um, within a fa- let's go with a family unit. Just, let's start with that. Um, you know, there are different roles for the father and the mother. Um, I think women probably, and maybe you can back me up on this, I think suffer much more in silence with these sort of issues because they're always supposed to be the backbone and the children are the most important thing. And so give me a sense of the, how the, uh, uh, you know, women in recovery, how their journey is different than men in recovery, and maybe a little bit more about your story also. Sure. Uh, the women's role uh, in the house is obviously um, going to be a little different than the, than the man's role. And, and, and usually the household does revolve around the, the, the mom or the, or the woman in the house. And that can be the social calendar, the kids' sports calendar, school activities. Mom is usually kind of running that kind of part of the show in a traditional home. Um, and so the pressures when mom gets sick are far different than when dad gets sick because mom is the caregiver, the care provider. And then all of a sudden there's this role change where mom needs help and services and everyone's looking like, well, what are we supposed to do when she leaves? And mom feels that, believe me, women, feel that. I felt that. I had two young children when I went to treatment and, and the whole, everyone feels the concern when mom has to go get some help. There's a lot of fear that surrounds mom being gone. There's a lot of anxiety within the family. And then you add on top of that, all of the shame and guilt that the woman already feels somehow that she failed her family and failed herself and has to go get treatment for substance use disorder. So there's a lot of emotion wrapped into um, when the, the, the woman or the mom in the household gets sick with substance use disorder. Right, right. So, so for you, with, the, with your two children, I mean, as far as um, were you, const- did you uh, delay your treatment because you were concerned, well, I can't do this because the kids have, I have to get them to soccer practice or I have to get them to whatever. I'm responsible for driving, you know, the carpool or whatever. Did that kind yes. of stuff fit into the Certainly. equation? Certainly. I not only dealt with my own personal demons of having to go to treatment, all the shame and guilt that I felt about that, about somehow I had failed at life, but then you add on the failure of, of feeling like a failure as a mom. And absolutely. I not only delayed going to treatment, but it really kept me in denial that I had this disease. And so as my disease is progressing, I was, I was putting my children inadvertently and unwantingly putting my children in harmful situations rather than getting myself into treatment and starting to find that recovery that I needed to be the mom that they needed and the woman that I was meant to be. Right, right. Well, then how did you overcome those issues then to, to make take that step? You know, I, I think that for me personally, and I think for most of us women, we get to a point where we run out of options. Honestly, we wait until there's really no other options. I mean, I never, I don't know any women, and I certainly didn't have it on my, um, you know, my bucket list to become an alcoholic and to need to go to treatment. But guess what? It ended up there and I had to do it, but it was the, it was the last resort for me. I'll be honest about that, but it was the greatest gift I ever gave myself first. And because of that, my relationship today with my kids is unlike anything I could have ever dreamt it could be while I was still drinking. Right, right. So when you were in treatment, obviously you are away. So then you, you must have been concerned about what's going to happen when you get home of and course. the relationships. And so, so how did you, how did you prepare for that before you returned home? I mean, how, how long were you away also, but also then, then what was it like the, the, the return, if you will? Yeah. So I went to treatment more than one time. I went to residential treatment four times and in a two year period of time. So I have, I was gone and away from my kids quite a bit in two year time frame because I would, I did, 
it was interesting. Getting me to treatment was difficult. And then of course, all I wanted to do was go home from treatment to be with my kids. And when I would get home from treatment, I would think that I could just pick up where I left off, right? All of a sudden, all the pressures, all the workload, everyone in the house thought mom's fixed. So we just go back to life as normal. And that wasn't at all the case. I needed, we need time when we get home to ease back into life, to ease back into our responsibilities as a mother, a wife, a, um, if we we're working outside of the home. And I just thought that I was fixed and I would go home and try and start right back where I left off. And the reality of it is, is that we need time. We need time to go and heal. My, the last time I went to treatment, I stayed there for 90 days and I did not see my children one time. It was very, very, very difficult. But the end result and the gift of all of that is they got back the mom that they needed, deserved, and wanted. And I, and I was able to find everything I wanted in this journey to recovery. Right, that's great, that's great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.